Hello everybody. This is uh, my one of the uh, one of the YouTube video. In this video, I will show you about air regulators, especially about how to check uh, if your air regulator is bad. Sometimes you getting in situation when you painting just uh, adjusting, adjusting the pressure and is and you feel this is uh, this is something not right with the gun or something like that you're not optimizing the clear or base proper, properly and basically you're looking at the air regulator and it shows to bar it seems uh, it should be spray uh, correct and good but uh, you're not spraying good uh, one of the reason is uh, that pressure uh, gauge uh, could be broken uh, any type of gauge cheap expensive sata the will be the waters not like uh, the smashing or dropping uh, or let's say maybe you not accidentally drop it and you can blame for uh, the bad uh, pressure readments maybe you just painting and around the bumper stand or panel stand and you not feeling but but you sometimes hitting to the uh, pot uh, to the painting stand and you basically what is happening the, that power of smash going through this uh, uh, pressure gauge so basically he could uh, can uh, uh, show uh, bad uh, pressure readings so basically uh, one way is to check it is basically if you have a, a, a wall regulator with pressure gauge basically you need to know the static pressure so just connecting and you will see uh, static pressure is four bars and two and a little bit more 4.2 bars so basically for knowing your regulator is that uh, is good is basically just enough if you don't have it on the wall pressure regula uh, regulator with the gauge my uh, advice uh, to you is uh, to have two extra regulators so basically if you connect it thing two regulators they should be showed same pressure so basically it's 4.2 and in this regulator is 4.2 bars so basically these both both regulators are good acceptable difference is not good but acceptable difference between uh, two pressure regulator is uh, uh, 0.1 bar uh, so is acceptable difference so basically if you want to check it uh, oil pressure or gauge is uh, uh, working working properly you need uh, to check uh, uh, static pressure when you checking dynamic pressure differences uh, is uh, it's um, shows different things with the dynamic pressure test you can check it which uh, which one uh, of regulator are uh, I would say uh, provide provide <laughs> I would say uh, which one is more restricting thing air than other uh, which one release uh, more CFM than other because of the holes diameter inside him also the, the that test is uh, you can do simple just open full all regulator connecting the gun and basically when you see dynamic pressure differences uh, different is it's mean your 
especially in this situation uh, your pressure regulator, air regulators is different so basically uh, we, we, uh, they have different uh, restriction points so basically you flipping, flip, flipping there's around and you can uh, check it w which one uh, pressure regulator uh, restricts air more than other which is not which one is not such restrictive for air other thing you can check it with dynamic air pressure let's say i don't using the water separator on the gun but uh, I know lots of painter using it so basically sometimes uh, because I why I don't use uh, that or uh, air sep uh, water separator water trap because uh, sometimes he clogging uh, and uh, basically it not uh, provides uh, a sufficient air and uh, pressure to the gun it basically it how you can check it just put the uh, air trap under the gun connecting to the air uh, regulator and basically when you're pushing the trigger the pressure gauge uh, arrows drops uh, uh, drops uh, how it say drops uh, not much when the trap is will be uh, above him after that you uh, uh, this uh, connecting water trap disconnecting a regulator water trap putting under the uh, air regulator uh, connecting to the spray gun and when you're pushing the trigger uh, dynamic air pressure very drops uh, could uh, drop uh, almost to zero maybe one bar left that in that case it's mean uh, your water trap uh, water trap is uh, clogged and basically you need to replace it so uh, in the good water trap uh, case uh, uh, if you put it uh, above a, a water trap put a thing to above a regulator to under a regulator uh, the how to say your <coughs> uh, pressure uh, pressure gauge uh, val values uh, will be uh, will be should be in good water trap situation should be uh, not big different Let, let's say if uh, <coughs> you are connecting uh, uh, water trap above the air regulator you're pushing the trigger uh, uh, pushing the trigger and your static pressure was uh, four bars and when you pushing it shows three bars <coughs> so basically when you putting uh, under the gun your uh, static pressure it should be also four bar when you pushing uh, the trigger it's probably it's could be different but uh, but not big maybe 2.8 bars 2.9 bars uh, dynamic pressure readment so basically for this video is it so thanks for watching and sorry for my bad english Goodbye.